Hello, and welcome to today's Rate Fast Speed Seminar, Requests for Authorization Forms, also known as RFAs. I'm Dr. John Alchemy. We'll begin by talking about what an RFA is. An RFA is basically a standardized form for the state of California that must be submitted when an injured worker requires further treatment or authorization for services. Prior to 2014, there was no such form, and basically the insurance companies had to review the doctor's written note and try to tease out exactly what was being requested, the quantity, frequency, etc. of treatment requests. The general idea of the RFA is to have a document that addresses all of these issues to make the system more rapidly usable and easily identifiable as to what is being requested, how much, how often. Now the section of the speed seminar that we call nerd knowledge, administrative details, etc. So RFAs were made mandatory by the state law in February of 2014 for California. Since then, this form has been a standard for requesting treatment medications, therapy, referral to specialty, and requests for durable medical equipment. Think of the RFA as the gateway or the beginning step through the utilization review process. RFAs may still be denied, however, due to insufficient information, missing diagnosis codes, or nonspecific requests without quantity or duration clearly attached. Like other aspects in the utilization review realm, a denied RFA may be appealed if further or critical information becomes available that was not available at the time of the determination. RFAs can come in the flavor of non-urgent, where the requester needs to go through the normal waiting process for a response, urgent, where care or services are required within the next one to three days, or retroactive, where emergency services were required, such as a surgery for a motor vehicle accident. Now for some problem solving. This is a true or false question. A treatment request which is made verbally does not require an RFA. The answer is false. All forms of treatment requested do require the RFA form. This would also include a situation where a provider or a provider's office obtains verbal authorization from the ingester because to be paid an authorization form clearly showing approved needs to be submitted so the parties rendering the referral service can rest assured that an actual authorization is obtained and they will be paid fairly and accurately in the process. This concludes today's Rate Fast Speed Seminar on the RFA. By the way, come by rate-fast.com and check out our software, which automatically generates the RFA when the treater requests treatment within the software program. Easy, fast, effective, and complete. Also, come visit our RateFast blog at rate-fast.com and click on the blog site. Thank you.